Let's talk about how to move around and find what you need. Like most programs, you can access features from the menus. But this can be time consuming, and it doesn't help you understand how things fit together. That's why we created the home page and icon bar. The home page shows the order or flow you should follow when you enter transactions. This is important because you must enter certain transactions in a specific order. And to customize your home page, click the edit menu and select preferences. Then click desktop view and select the company tab. Add or remove icons from your home page here. You can also access features and a whole lot more with the icon bar. Click these arrows to expand it. Use this search field to find a name or number stored in your QuickBooks company file. Or you can use it to search for help. Whatever you select down here is displayed in this area. Right now you see a list of shortcuts to the activities and features you use often. And you can customize the shortcut list to suit how you use QuickBooks. If you're like me, you probably multitask and find that you have a lot of windows open at the same time. Click Open Windows to see what's open and to quickly switch between open windows. Click Do Today to see a list of your upcoming to-dos from the built-in calendar. And View Balances shows you a list of important account balances. Click My Favorite Reports and click Add to select reports you want to list in this section. You can select any of the reports in this list. Choose the ones that you use most often. Let's show the shortcuts again and then collapse the icon bar. Just click here to open the icon bar. Let's take a closer look at two icons that give you information about your business. The snapshots provide a real-time overview of your business in one centralized location. And you can customize your snapshots to show just what you want to see. And the Report Center helps you run reports that answer questions and give you insight about your business. QuickBooks organizes your customers, vendors, and employees in centers. The different centers work the same way. So let's look at the Customer Center to see how they're organized. To the left, you'll see the list of names. When you select a name, their contact information appears in the upper right pane of the window. To the lower right, you see transactions, contacts, to-dos, and notes for the selected name. Click the Transactions tab to see all transactions for all the names in the center. For the Customer Center, these include invoices, sales receipts, and payments you've received. Let's open an invoice to see how easy it is to enter transactions. You'll find the common activities for each form in the main tab. And if you don't find what you need, check out the other tabs for more options. Use these arrows to move between transactions of the same type. If you want to learn how to enter common day-to-day -day transactions, click Help and select Learning Center. We hope you enjoy using QuickBooks and find that it helps you manage your business more effectively.